Now, the fact that Marvel Studios isn't allowed to make a solo Hulk movie notwithstanding, the movies that he's been in are still, with the exception of Infinity War and Avengers Endgame, have not done much for the Hulk character. The thing about the Hulk is that Bruce Banner is one of the smartest people in the Marvel Universe. Like, it, it, I think it... Correct me if I'm wrong, com comic nerds out there, but I believe it goes Reed Richards, uh, Tony Stark, Bruce Banner, T'Challa. Oh no 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 no! No, it doesn't. No, okay, it goes it goes Reed Richards, uh, Peter Parker, Hank McCoy, T'Challa, uh, Tony Stark, Bruce Banner. I know that makes Bruce Banner not seem that smart, but when you consider the company he's in, <laughs> with Beast and Black Panther and uh, Mr. Fantastic. Mr. Fantastic is unequivocally the smartest person, the smartest human, at least, in Marvel. He's... That's just the way it is. But that's not the point. The point, the point is, Bruce Banner is a mega genius, and the Hulk is supposed to be the strongest there is. But both of these things are consistently gotten wrong in the MCU. In the first movie, they bring... Well, in the first Avengers movie, they bring Bruce Banner onto the team to to help them locate the uh, the Tesseract because it gives off gamma radiation, and he's an expert on the subject. Cool, great, fantastic. They don't. He doesn't help them find it though. He he scans the scepter after they uh, locate Loki, which also Banner doesn't help with. Like Banner's brain is what they used him for, but it doesn't accomplish diddly. He gets brainwashed by Loki Scepter in the movie, and then he ends up tearing up uh, the the helicarrier, and then he falls and turns back to Banner, and then he shows up again on a moped and turns back into the Hulk. It's like, and yeah, he smashes some stuff, whatever. But consistently as well, the Hulk is supposed to be a lot stronger than he is in the movies. I know that they don't want the balancing to seem squirrely or whatever, but the Hulk is literally supposed to... He's supposed to increase in strength when he gets more angry. And they consistently mess that up. Like, in Age of Ultron, when he's fighting uh, the Hulkbuster armor, he should have been getting angrier and stronger the entire fight, but it doesn't seem that way because he doesn't do considerably more damage to the Hulkbuster suit as the fight goes on. He's just doing the same amount of damage to him and to the city, and then later on to Ultron. It's just like... it. It doesn't seem like they remember that he's supposed to also get stronger. And in that movie, Banner also doesn't do anything very smart. He stands by and lets uh, Tony create Ultron and Vision. It's like, I guess he was involved in helping to create Ultron, but the thing, of the, the fact of the matter is that, like, still, he's supposed to be this world-renowned gamma scientist. He's not even a roboticist or a software engineer. I don't know why he was involved in creating Ultron in the first place. But then... Funny enough, everybody wants to blame Tony for Ultron's creation, but they always forget that Banner was also involved to some capacity. But then you get to Thor Ragnarok, and uh, he's like, I'm the Hulk, and I'm a, I'm a savage. And then he turns back to Banner for about a half hour of the movie. And um, and they make this huge deal about Banner being useful. He's like, oh, i got four PhDs. Does Hulk have four PhDs? And it's like, well, you haven't used those PhDs for much, you know? That's why I was interested that in Avengers Infinity War, he and Hulk were having some sort of like domestic dispute and couldn't come to an agreement on Hulk using the body and, you know, taking charge. Because the thing is, the Hulk is a part of Banner's identity that's pretty much always been there. He's like the manifestation of being angry duh, or feeling vengeful or jealous or any, any negative emotions that he's had to like suppress over his life. That's the Hulk. So when he was treated with the gamma radiation, it brought that persona to life, and they take turns steering the wheel, but they usually both always have one hand on it. But in Avengers Endgame, when Banner and Hulk came to a permanent agreement and became Professor Hulk, I was very happy about that. Because in the comics, there's many times where the Hulk and Banner have come to permanent agreements and become Professor Hulk, where he's as smart as Banner, almost as strong as the Hulk. I love that because it makes Banner useful. You know, he's the one that started cracking time travel. He's the one that was like, okay, if we put the stones back, then we won't, we won't, fr uh, then we won't fracture reality and destroy the world. 
Banner's brain gets some time in the sun in this movie, finally. The Hulk has had a very unnoticeable arc in these movies. And it's it started in Thor Ragnarok. He was in two movies before he started evolving as a character. And I don't know why it took so long. Uh, I guess it's just Taika Waititi and Joe Russo, the, Anthony and Joe Russo, that were just interested in the Hulk as a character. But I'm actually satisfied with where the Hulk is now because he's, he's the one that snapped his fingers and brought everybody back to life. Uh, he's sacrificed uh, a lot, really, because it looks like that arm is never going to recover. But he lost Natasha, who he really cared about. Like, things happen in this movie that enforce Hulk's character, finally. Like, he's pretty much just been background decoration all this time. But he's finally in a place where, should he never do another Marvel movie, you have a satisfying end to Hulk's story, which began two years ago, uh, funny enough. But that's just how I think the Hulk has adapted as a character over the last couple of movies. What do you think? Do you agree with me? Do you like the way that he was uh, portrayed in Avengers Endgame? If not, go ahead and tell me why in the comics. If you In the comics. In the comments. If you did, then go ahead and tell me why in the comments. I will uh, be reading all of them, as I do. But if you want more videos, then there's a whole bunch of them. And if you want more in the future, click like and subscribe. And uh, over here uh, is a video that I just uploaded. And over here is a video that YouTube chose just for you.